All right, hello everyone, and welcome to another YDA chat. Uh, my name is Linda Kodega. I use they, them pronouns, and I'm one of the features editors for Shots. Joining me today is Wen Wen, who won two YDA gold screens for their short 13 minute film, Heading South, in both the student film and the short film categories. Wen, do you want to take a few minutes to introduce yourself? Yeah, hello everyone. Uh... Nice to meet you all. My name is Yuan Yuan. Uh, I originally from China. Now I'm a thesis student in NYU. So I'm based in New York right now. And Heading South is uh, as the short film I shot last year. Um, it's a story about a Mongolian girl travels to the uh, from grassland to the city uh, to visit her divorced father uh, who lives and works there and meets her uh, new family member there. Yeah, so it's really a film about childhood and change and sort of the ways in which like specifically like different cultures meet, you know, it's very interesting. I'm wondering, um, you, I believe that you mentioned that this film was actually inspired by some of your childhood memories. Are there like particular memories or moments uh, from your past that are like reflected in this film? Yeah, for sure. I feel every film may be personal in some way. Mm -hmm. uh, this film is actually is really based on a true memory, but uh, it's it, when I was too little, around five, I think, even mm -hmm. uh, younger than the girl in my film. My memory is blurred. I only remember uh, what happened, uh, but only in fold, in pieces, in uh, images in my mind. So I don't really remember what they say, what mm -hmm. they were doing. I only remember they asked me to call my mom, call her mom. Um, so uh, I built this script based on the memory and the emotion I wish to explore. So all those characters are kind of new. I have to rebuild them to make all the characters make sense in this film. Uh, mm -hmm. So the screenwriting is kind of challenging. Uh, I have to learn how to uh, separate myself uh, from the characters in the movie and uh, try to be sincere um, to the new story that is being born right now. Yeah, I think that's something that a lot of directors, you know, have to struggle with the idea of like, how much do of myself do I put into this, <laughs> you know? Um, and another question I want to know about the film is, how do you balance uh, universal themes, which is like childhood and divorce and like parents moving on with, with like very hyper-specific cultural details from Mongolia and China? Yeah, uh, I think that's a really good question. Uh, I've been asking myself if I could tell like, this script, even uh, we workshop the script in class. Mm -hmm. I'm doubting myself because all my classmates are from people from different countries. Our program is very international. So I don't know if they could understand the story, if they could understand the cultural background. Mm -hmm. But surprisingly, uh, many of the friends from Europe, from uh, other countries, they told me they can understand it uh, completely. Maybe some cultural details is, uh, is not, a, a, it's not certain for them, but mm -hmm. they can understand the emotion. And globalization, urbanization is like a big thing in, uh, for uh, indigenous people all over the world. Mm -hmm. and so they can link to the emotion uh, uh, very uh, precisely. Um, but for the, uh, for the Mongolian background, I think my, get, my takeaway from this film is that as you, I need to be as personal as possible. Uh, I need to, the story to um, be real to me. To, um, the world has to be true to myself. Then mm -hmm. I could, the audience could um, uh, judge for themselves if they want to devote it in the world or not. But as a filmmaker, I think we have to build the world as real as possible to ourselves. Yeah, and of course that changes for every filmmaker and every film. It's really, it's something that like, I think all of us really love about film, just in general. Yeah. All right, so uh, I'm wondering about, so you are currently a student at NYU, correct? 
Um, I'm wondering, what would you recommend, what would you tell younger students, like people, kids who are like 15 or 16, who are considering film school, and do you have any advice for them? Uh, for, I, I don't know, uh, people have different backgrounds, they have different reasons to draw them to filmmaking or storytelling. For myself, I never, I never thought I could do writing and directing or even learn about it when I was young. I just love watching movies. Um, mm -hmm. But before NYU, I was working uh, in film industry. I worked for the producer who produced Anne movie before. Uh, I was working on the script development, but then I realized gradually through work that what I really want to do is writing, directing mm -hmm. uh, instead of other a position. I think uh, that took me a while to figure out what I really want to do. I really wish I know that uh, when I was a little, but that's uh, somehow not my journey <laughs> towards filmmaking. Uh, my suggestion would just very simple, I guess, just follow your heart. No matter what you do, you may regret or not, but you couldn't change what you're feeling about right now at this moment. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. I'm wondering, um, do you have a specific process for developing your stories? Like, do you have, you, I know moments from your childhood, they're very important to your storytelling, but do you ever get inspired by other things in your life? And how does that process work for like developing those plot lines in your head? Yeah, uh, I feel that uh, that's a challenge that's challenging for every writer you need to mm -hmm. uh, write many of the things re related to your experiences um, but i was a i consider myself as a shadow artist before i always now trusting myself in writing i don't know what stories i could tell years ago but then uh, i had this amazing writing teacher uh, she read me a, a few books and uh asked me to do writing exercises. I, still, I feel uh, it gradually opened uh, how I uh, treat my material, uh, how, how my attitude, attitude towards writing is really uh, changed. Um, like all those memories we worked in the morning pages, all the journals, I have to mm. uh, just free myself in writing and discover uh, what stories I'm interested in, what memories that is haunting myself. I think gradually uh, you will find there are so many stories I want to tell where you're, you're remembering uh, only from your own experience. And then if you open to um, open the perspective to other people around you, friends, families, mm -hmm. you will have so many stories. Um, I feel that's a, that's a very encouraging way for a beginner who just want to write. You could just free yourself by writing anything that came to your mind. Yeah, excellent. Um, you did meant you, so you mentioned like a professor who sort of helped you learn more about how to tell your story. I'm wondering, is there a specific piece of advice from this professor that you can relate to us? Do you remember something that they like very clearly like, oh yeah, they said this and it sort of changed my outlook for a, while, a long time? Uh, I, feel it's, uh, <laughs> I feel it's like by doing it for sure. Like, sure. She, like she said, if you are not doing this next week, you won't be able to meet me. So mm -hmm. this week we will all be going to museum. We will all be writing down um, one questions or two questions towards your childhood, towards mm. what is the, if you have to mention five image, for example, at your, when you were five, what do you remember? Those questions, we thought uh, we don't need to be questioned, but then you, when you have, when you are thinking about it, you have new memories coming back to you, mm -hmm. new things that may trigger your emotion, maybe not towards writing, but you, 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 you you feel those memories uh, are connected to who you are right now. Um, have a cl have a clearer sense of who I am, how mm -hmm. I become who I am, uh, what is my weakness. Uh, uh, yeah, I think the whole experience helped me to be a better person that yeah, wow. I'm comfortable with. Um, a version of myself that I'm, uh, I could be honest with. 
Um, yeah, she also, I also mentioned the pages you were working on, you could just throw away if you don't want to show other people. That's also a new way to mm-hmm. thinking about my uh, shitty drafts. <laughs> <laughs> you could just throw away pretend, but you have to write it <laughs> in order to throw it away. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> That's great. It's one of those things where you just sort of have to remember, like, no one needs to see this. Nothing happened. <laughs> Moving on. Sure. I'm sure you feel the same. <laughs> yep, I do. <laughs> I have a lot of shitty drafts lying around. <laughs> oh man. Uh, okay, so I want to like just go back to heading south for one second. Um, and thank you so much for your time. Uh, we are almost done. Um, sure. I'm wondering what was the most challenging part of this film to shoot. I mm. the a- because we, as students, we are producing our film mm-hmm. <laughs> at the same time. It's very challenging because you are do, doing multi-person's job at the same time. Yeah. But as a director, um, I think most challenging part is the dinner scene. If you have watched the movie, it's mm-hmm. a long scene. Even in the script, it's like uh, six pages in, the, in a row, which I know is going to be challenging. So I did a lot of... Uh, prepare before I went even went to location mm-hmm. stuff. I watched uh, films I remembered who involved with the dinner scene, I analyzed them, uh, and uh, which lens they're using, how to storyboard those scenes like that, how to editing, uh, how the editing works with the rhythm during the conversation while eating. So yeah. uh, with with so many clips that I love, I, I, I put them together as my reference. And then um, I talked with my DP how to achieve the goal, the emotion I want. We went to pass the lens. We choose specific uh, lens um, and uh, lighting uh, to match the feeling we want to achieve. And, and uh, it's also involved with the actors. I have to do rehearsal with them ahead of time because mm-hmm. I want to, most of them are not actors. So I have to do rehearsal, and then lock their performances. And then because we only have three days to shoot that scene, uh, which is challenging. Um, we rehearse with the camera and then I draw storyboards. Uh, we rehearse again, I revise the storyboards. When um, we came to the sh- actual shooting, uh, I'm pretty confident we will get what I really want. Um, we did a lot of preparation work. Yeah. Yeah, sounds it sounds it sounds so hard. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> hard. Very hard. Excellent. All right. So my last question is, uh, what does it mean for you to win a YDA, and what's next for you? Uh, it means a lot. I actually applied with my uh, student film last year mm-hmm. or two years ago, I think, but I didn't get in, and uh, I love the movie I watched in on the website on YDA. And I, ch- I followed some of the movies, their festival journeys. Uh, mm-hmm. They're all cool films. So uh, I never thought I could get in this time. I'm still digesting what this means to me, but I'm uh, very grateful and very thankful. Uh, and actually, uh, I I didn't, I don't know I could get in. So I actually emailed them for a fee, for a fee waiver or discount. Mm-hmm. Maybe if I couldn't get a discount, maybe I won't submit. Then yeah. uh, the programmer really changed my mind. Oh, you should submit. Yeah, <laughs> but, good. Um, <laughs> no, that is something uh, I'm thinking I should just uh, give it a try next time, no matter if I, if, what the result is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. And what's next? What are you doing next? Oh. <laughs> now I'm working on my thesis uh, mm-hmm. film, which is a short film, but it's part of the future script I'm working on. Um, and then, yes, uh, we were planning to shoot the end of this year, but because of the pandemic, maybe next year, hopefully. Perfect. Awesome. Well, thank you, Wenwen. I'm really grateful that I was able to speak to you. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And... Uh, Tune in for more YDA coverage.